showing you my take on various Caribbean cuisines and it will be mainly Dominican recipes now that is the Commonwealth of Dominica and not the Dominican Republic I will also be doing DIYs I will also be doing mommy hacks now for my first video I'll be making saltfish acra otherwise known as fritters now this may not be your mother or your grandmother's traditional way of making acra or fritters but nonetheless it is acra and I put a spin on certain ingredients I add additional things because that's what my family likes now you can try out this recipe and see if your family feels the same way that mine does also on this channel I will be uploading once a week initially and once I get more of a feel of how this is going to work I may do two uploads per week now if you're interested in seeing my take on sawfish acra or fritters keep watching now I'm going to get the recipe going with the ingredients so as you can see here here I have grated onion and garlic I have mashed potato I also used um, golden ray the orange butter I think it's margarine I use that to mash these potatoes I have parsley celery and sive sive is also known as green onion I have chopped bell peppers I have the salt fish here and I've boiled the salt out and changed the water twice here I have baking powder I have a Maggi cube curry powder the chief's curry powder and I have um, some paprika here just to add a little kick okay so I'm gonna start by putting the um, dry ingredients adding them to here Also, I had some black pepper in there. Now I used one tablespoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon for the black pepper. I used a half a teaspoon for the curry. Okay, so here I have the flour mixed with the other dry ingredients that I spoke about a minute ago, which was the baking powder, curry powder, paprika, edible with um, the Maggi cubes, and some black pepper. So now I am going to add the green seasonings. The bell peppers the onion and garlic that I grated mix this together When I got this bowl at Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm gonna add the salt fish. Mashed potatoes, one and a half cups of water. Also, the flour was one and a half cups as well. I'm 
So I'm just gonna let this sit and lower, lower my burner. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes, about 10 minutes or so. This is the consistency that you're looking for. Not runny. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. I place plastic wrap on top of here. Once I let it settle. So I'm going to leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes. This batch is almost ready to come out. Okay, I think I can pick this first batch out right now. Ah, see that? Crispy. So here you have it guys, I'm all done with the salt fish slash cod fish slash acra slash fritters. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm all done now. As you can see, golden brown.